Hi friends, today I was reading through the Gospels and came across some of Jesus' hard sayings. In Luke 9, 57 through 58, a guy comes up and wants to follow Jesus and Jesus responds, the foxes have holes and the birds have of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. In other words, if you want to follow me, you're going to have to use a rock for your pillow. Another guy comes up and he wants to follow Jesus. Actually, Jesus uh, commands him, follow me. And the guy's response is, Lord, permit me first to go bury my father. And uh, Jesus responds, allow the dead to bury their own dead. But as for you, go and proclaim everywhere the kingdom of God. Wow, that sounds kind of harsh, actually. And then a third person comes to Jesus. And this guy says, I will follow you, Lord, but first permit me to say goodbye to those at home. Seems like a logical request. But Jesus said to him, no one, after putting his hand to the plow and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of God. Now, when we hear those things, we think, one, we can think, wow, Jesus, you're so hard on people. Or we can think, well, that was Jesus. There's no way that I should ever be that hard on people. But remember that Jesus was modeling for the 12 how to fish for men, how to make disciples. So this rigorous following, this high bar of commitment in discipleship it's not something that Jesus did and didn't expect anyone else to do. No, Jesus expected us to keep the standards high that he set, not that we set, but he set in following him, not us. I was watching a documentary on Vince Lombardi last night and Vince Lombardi was a hard coach. I mean that guy was hard to play for. He was demanding, he was challenging. S some people thought he was almost mean, but his players they they thought of him like a father. They loved him and they knew that he loved them. And so this is a key insight in high bar discipleship. We need to keep the standard for discipleship and following Jesus very high. But at the same time, we need to love extravagantly like Jesus did as well. And when men and women know that you love them they will follow you to the gates of hell. And so these two are in tandem. They have to be together. High challenge and high relationship, intimacy. Uh, that's how Coach Lombardi coached his winning Green Bay Packers. And that's how Jesus coached disciple makers. For Coach Lombardi, it was just a football game. But for Jesus and his disciples, it was the souls of men and women all around the world. That's what's at stake for us. So let's keep the bar high, both in challenging discipleship and loving those people that we're discipling. All right? Love you. God bless you.